Hello everyone. Welcome to the OpenShift Bootcamp course. And this is the course introduction for you to understand the structure and content of this course. My name is Ginish and I will be sharing about OpenShift in this series of videos. This video is independent of and does not represent Red Hat in, in any way. Red Hat does not officially sponsor, approve or endorse this channel or its content. There is no promotional content in this video either. I have structured this series with explanations, demos, OpenShift cluster deployment, lab instructions to practice etc. Also we have a telegram group uh, for discussions if you have any questions or doubts from the videos. Please note this course is not designed for any official track or exam purpose like Red Hat OpenShift Administrator exam EX280 or Red Hat OpenShift Developer exam EX288. The plan is to start with the basics of OpenShift and slowly explain the OpenShift core components. Then we will learn how to deploy OpenShift clusters, not the production grade uh, clusters but the simple clusters for you to practice labs and learn every day. Then we will learn how to manage the clusters and different cluster resources. We will also learn OpenShift networking, authentication and security configurations. Later, we will understand and practice secrets, config maps and its usage in OpenShift. And we will learn many other things as well. At any point, if you think the video or the concept is not clear, please submit the feedback via comments. We will try our best to publish supporting videos and explanations as needed. When we talk about prerequisites, yes, you need to know the basics of Linux. As you know that you are going to handle these containers and Kubernetes things from Linux environments and yeah, you really need to know Linux not in the SME level. We will try our best to explain the basics of containers and other Kubernetes concepts. But as we know, the course focus is on OpenShift and we will be talking more in that view. For setting up your own OpenShift cluster for practicing, you should have a decent workstation or laptop or some public or private cloud account with credits. Yes, some of the free tier um, accounts are enough, but I will explain those in detail in the upcoming sessions. We know we have different versions of OpenShift. The first one is the OpenShift community version called OKD, also known as OpenShift Origin until August 2018. This is the upstream community supported version of the Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform or OCP. Yes, a sibling Kubernetes distribution to Red Hat OpenShift. The second one is Red Hat OpenShift, which is the enterprise Kubernetes container platform with enterprise support and functionalities. You have managed and self-hosted options with Red Hat OpenShift and there are different offerings from Red Hat for this. You will find the documentation for OpenShift in many places such as docs.org okd.io or docs.openshift.com etc. The documentation is structured to follow the different versions of OpenShift and you will find older versions of documents as well. That's all for the introduction for this OpenShift Bootcamp. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to get all the latest videos and other courses. Thank you for watching. See you next time with another video. Stay tuned.